this is Eleanor from the Carnegie Library Mayor and this is Bookbug. We are, and over here we have Pooch who just sits here and enjoys. Although, what we want you to do is take part. That's where most of the fun comes, comes from. So we'll be doing lots of things. We hope some of them familiar, maybe some of them new. So anyway, let's get going Bookbug. We're going to start with the hello song. And Bookbug's going to do like this to his legs. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come. Way! says Bookbug. Yes, he's glad to be here. Hope you are as well. And we're going to do cross cross. So this is a old favourite. We've been doing this one for a long time, but if you're new, just make sure if it's a very little child especially, that they're very secure. We're going to go on the back. Or little children can do it to other children if you like. Whatever. Free and easy here. So, we're going to do cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries! Got that? Do it again. Cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries! One more time, book bug. Yep. Here he goes. Cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. Yes, boot bug. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do this little piggy. So we need to get our fingers involved. Okay, so fingers, two hands. Which hand will we do this one? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy ooh, <laughs> had none. But this little piggy cried wee 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 all the way home. Yes, book book. We could do that again. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had corned beef. That's my favourite. This little piggy had none. And this little piggy cried wee 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 all the way home. One more time, book bug. Okay. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had corned beef. And this little piggy had none. And am I doing this the wrong way? Yes, I am. This little piggy cried wee 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 all the way home. So it doesn't matter if you do it wrong, do we, book bug? As long as we have fun and we practice. Yes. So we're going to do another one. Now we're going to go round and round the garden. A bit more tickly. Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you under there. <laughs> round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you under there. If we do it the other side, book bug. Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step. Two step, tickle you under there. <laughs> now, book bug, we are going to do one that's new to us, or new to me anyway. Book bug's probably, you know, great. But so we're going to see how this book bug is going on my knee. Again, secure, and it's basically it's my knee that's going up and down, but rather than book bug going up and down on my knee. So here we go. I'm toast in the toaster. I'm getting very hot. Tick-tock, tick-tock, up, I pop. 
Yeah, book bug. That was good, wasn't it? We try that again, so we're still bouncing. I toast in the toaster, I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. <laughs> don't let go. We don't want any children flying off, do we, book bug? Hold on tight. I'm toast in the toaster, I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. <laughs> up I pop. Oh dear, that's good. So, <laughs> one more time, book bug. I'm toast in the toaster, I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. <laughs> right, what are we going to do, book bug? We're going to do a familiar twinkle twinkle, are we? Well, it's familiar to us. Catch one soon. So book bug is here. I'm going to do the actions. So we go twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are we do that again book bug mm. Yes. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Are. I think that's enough twinkle. Oh no, book bug insists one more time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, Twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh yes, book bug, I insist. We're going on to the next bit. You're going to enjoy that too. What we have over here is a bag. And I wonder what's in the bag. that looks like a cuckoo clock Look. wonder what a cuckoo clock's doing in there we'll set it over next to pooch don't know if you can see it or not but there we go it's over there and we have oh what's that do you know what kind of animal that one is do you know a book bug it's a badger oh set there too Oh, book bug. Oh, 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 what are we doing in the bag? Ooh, Ooh more. Have we have? What's this creature? Do you know? Oh, it's box. It's over there. And we've got one more animal around here. Oh, it's quite a big one. What's that? It's a crow! Why on earth would be a crow in there? I don't know. Are you going to sit on top of Pooch? There you go. Oh, a book bug. What the things in the bag normally are, book bug, is a clue to what book we're going to read. So here's a book. <laughs> the book. And it's called Too Much Stuff by Emily Gravitt and it's published by Two Hoots. So this is, it's, it does have a badger on it and a fox. And what are these up here? Well these look like magpies. They are like cousins of crows I suppose, aren't they, book bug? Maybe that's what the crow's about. 
So we're going to read this book. Oh, look, there's a nice magazine bit at the front. So that's unusual. So too much stuff. I'll push myself over a wee bit. Here we go. It's a very nice book. In a tree that was taller than all of the rest, Meg and Ash were busy building a nest. So it's Meg and Ash. They built it from mud and from grass and from sticks, and they dreamed that one day they would fill it with chicks. Then lastly, to keep it all cosy and clean, they lined the whole thing with an old magazine. It wasn't that long before they had laid four perfect eggs in the nest that they'd made, but looking around they worried their nest needed more stuff to make it the best. And so, while one of them stayed behind, the other flew off to go and find the extra things that they agreed their chicks were really going to need. At first they brought back little stuff. Two ornamental cuckoo clocks, four tiny socks and a pack of plastic eggs in sh shades of blue to match their eggs. But still it didn't seem enough and so... They got some bigger stuff. A, t a Ted abandoned by the bin. The bin and everything within. Better, they said, but not quite enough. Our perfect eggs deserve more stuff. Oh, look at that book bug. It's totally full. You'd think. Meg got some lights for when it got dark. Ash got a pram from a nearby park. Oh my goodness. They nabbed a bucket and a mop, a brush, a broom, they could not stop. Look at all the other animals. They wondered if each, each chick would like to one day learn to ride a bike. And even though it took a while, the bikes got added to the pile. After that, they'd need a car, which may have been a step too far. As when they went and brought one back, from the nest they heard a crack! Look at that. Down fell the bikes, one, two, three, four, quickly followed by much more. The car came crashing down on top, followed by the brush and mop. The shiny bucket and the lights came clattering down from the heights. The fancy pram that they'd brought back hit the ground with quite a smack. Falling fast, the poor lost head landed hard upon his head. On top of him bumped the bin, its content contents now outside, not in. The clocks came falling mid-cuckoo, just as they were striking too. And sailing down beside the clocks came the pairs of baby socks. Finally, the plastic pegs came falling down upon their... Eggs! Where are our eggs? The magpie stopped and looked around at all the things strewn on the ground and cried, it doesn't seem enough. It didn't seem enough. But look at all this useless stuff. They lifted off the plastic pegs, but still they couldn't find their eggs. And so the whole wood set about trying to dig their poor nest out. The lights got pegged up in a tree so all the animals could see. The bikes got taken back and left at the scene of their theft. The Ted was given by the bugs to someone who would give him hugs. The cuckoo clocks made quite superb homes for all the smaller birds and the socks made very nice cosy beds for baby, baby mice. The squirrels took the pram apart and used the bits to make a cart. The car became a fine fox den, big enough to hold all ten. And all the rubbish from the bin was swept back up and put back in. At last the magpies reached their nest, which was not looking at its best. It's just a heap of shell and sticks. But under that... Four perfect chicks! So there we go. A 
Oh, there's the magazine again. There we go. That was a good book, wasn't it, book bug? All that stuff. I think most of us have got too much stuff, haven't we? To do with a little bit less. But anyway, that's for another day. What we're going to do now, we've done the book. And we had a crow. We have a crow alone. So why don't we sing Three Crows? That's one of our favourites. One of our many, 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 many favourites. Okay? So, three crows sat upon a wall. Sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall. Three cross sat upon a wall on a cold and frosty morning. The first craw couldn't flee at all, couldn't flee at all, couldn't flee at all. The first craw couldn't flee at all on a cold and frosty morning. The second craw fell and hurt his jaw. Ah! Oh. Fell and hurt his jaw. Fell and hurt his jaw. The first craw fell and hurt his jaw on a cold and frosty morning. The second, third craw. Couldn't flee at all. Why did they do this? <laughs> Couldn't flee at all. Couldn't flee at all, the third craw. Couldn't flee at all on a cold and frosty morning. The fourth craw wasn't there at all. Wasn't there at all. Wasn't there at all. The fourth craw wasn't there at all on a cold and frosty morning. I think book bug that I missed. I forgot something there. I'm, I'm obviously working too hard. Someone's got to give me less work to do, haven't they? So, three crows sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall, sat upon a wall. Three crows sat upon a wall on a cold and frosty morning. The first craw was greeting for his maw. Was greeting for his maw. Oh, was greeting for his maw. The first craw was greeting for his maw on a cold and frosty morning. The second craw fell and hurt his jaw. Ah, oh, fell and hurt his jaw. Ah, oh, fell and hurt his jaw. The second craw fell and hurt his jaw. Oh, on a whole cold and frosty morning. Third craw couldn't flee at all. Couldn't flee at all. Couldn't flee at all. The third craw couldn't flee at all. On a cold and frosty morning. The fourth craw wasn't there at all. He wasn't there at all. He wasn't there at all. The fourth craw wasn't there at all on a cold and frosty morning. Oh well, that went a little better the second time, didn't it, Book Bug? So we'll be now going to do something else to prove that we're still happy. If you're happy and you know it. So, for Book Bug, I'll go in the middle. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and we know it, shout we are. We are! If you're happy and you know it, shout we are. We are! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout we are. We are! If you're happy and you know it, do all four. 
we are if you're happy and you know what to go for we are if you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you're happy and you know it do all four we are <laughs> oh book bug oh dear me well i think it's on to the next thing now isn't it so we're gonna do uh, anyone out there like bananas we like bananas so we're going to do bananas unite so here's book bug again i'm going to be doing the actions He's quite secure there in the middle, so bananas unite, bananas split, go bananas, go bananas, go bananas, go bananas, bananas to the left, this way, our left that was, you got bananas to the right, peel your banana and take a bite. Um, Okay, bananas unite, bananas split, go bananas, go bananas, go bananas, go bananas, bananas to the left, bananas to the right, peel your banana and take a bite. One more time, bananas unite, bananas split. Go bananas, go bananas, go bananas, go bananas. Bananas to the left, bananas to the right. Peel your banana and take a bite. Mmm. So, just because we are brave and probably foolish, we are going to do another new one today. So, another new song. So, going to go I'm going to wrap myself in paper I'm going to dab myself with glue I'm gonna put some stamps or sorry, pick, stick some stamps on top of my head I'm going to mail myself to you right we'll try that again I'm gonna wrap myself in paper I'm gonna dab myself with glue I'm going to put some stamps up on top of my head and I'm going to mail myself to you. I think we maybe need some more practice but we'll do it again anyway. I'm going to wrap myself in paper. I'm going to dab myself with glue. Put some stamps on top of my head. I'm going to mail myself to you. Not sure we've got the, the tune either, but it's all good fun, isn't it? I'm going to wrap myself in paper. I'm going to start, put some... Like, let's try again. I'm going to wrap myself in paper. I'm going to dab myself with glue. Stick some stamps on top of my head. I'm going to mail myself to you. Yes. Least said about that, the better. We enjoyed ourselves, didn't we, book bug? Right. So we're now going to do an old favourite. So we remember how to do this one. We do it anyway, we think. Pat your head. Rub your tummy. Tickle your toes. And hug your honey. Oh, big hugs. Pat your head. Rub your tummy. Tickle your toes and hug your honey. Oh. Pat your head, rub your tummy, tickle your toes and hug your honey. Oh, oh book bug. Oh, so I think we're nearly done now, book bug. Gonna do it. Mm, he wants to do Incy Wincy Spider before we stop. Do you know this one? Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And Incy Wincy Spider 
climbed up the spout again. Bookbug says one time isn't enough. Okay. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. I think that's enough book bug. I think we need to do cross cross. I think we do. That means we're nearly finished. <laughs> book bug, we can't keep going all day. Cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze, tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. Oh dear, book bug. Oh dear. Cross, cross, line, line, spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze, tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. One more time, book bug. Cross, cross, line, line. Spiders crawling up your spine. Cool breeze. Tight squeeze. Now you've got the shiveries. Oh, book bug, nearly finished now. We're going to sing the goodbye song. And we hope that we'll see you in the library soon. The in-person book bugs haven't restarted again, but hopefully hopefully soon and we will see you there we hope or just visiting in to get some books won't we book bug yep so we're just going to do the goodbye song and then it's time to go bye bye babies bye bye babies bye bye babies have a lovely day bye bye mummies Bye bye mummies, bye bye mummies, have a lovely day. Bye bye children, bye bye children, bye bye children, have a lovely day. Bye bye daddies, bye bye daddies, bye bye daddies, have a lovely day. Bye bye animals. Bye bye animals, bye bye animals, have a lovely day. Bye bye book bug, bye bye book bug, bye bye book bug, have a lovely day. Thank you very much for coming, hope you enjoyed yourselves and we hope to see you soon. Bye!